We're not going to discuss this, that. We are going to discuss the amazingly talented Luke Jocelyn, who's on the phone with us. I yes. Know. Luke? <laughs> yes, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, wonderful. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, Luke, what are you up to at the moment? What are you doing? Well, we're uh, right in the grip of uh, a rehearsal at the moment. We're about to head into the what they call the technical uh, period of the, of, of the process, which is putting all the technical elements together. We've rehearsed the play, and now we... Um, and now we sort of put all the technical stuff, um, we layer it on top. So it's a fairly time-consuming uh, process, particularly um, for a show like this one. But um, but we're getting there nice and nice and efficiently. We've had the luxury of, of, of having rehearsed in the theatre ah. for the last few weeks, which is a little unheard of. Yep. Um, you, usually you would you know rehearse in a you know in a rehearsal room and then and then transfer over to the theatre. But um, on this occasion, we've we've had the luxury of being in the theatre sort of since day one. And that's in the beautiful comedy theatre? The beautiful comedy theatre, yes. yeah. <laughs> the hilarious, yeah. hilarious comedy yeah. theatre. Yes, <laughs> that's right. It, yep. is, uh, it is hilarious, but it's a great, a great venue. Um, fairly timeless, actually. Like, I'm just sitting currently in my, in my dressing room and it's, uh, I'm looking at the mirror and I'll, above the mirror, there's got like a frame that goes around the mirror with all various names of actors that have sort of been in this dressing room over the past... Uh, however many years so oh, wow. it's got a lot of um yeah a lot of history there i imagine a lot of history yeah a lot of history a lot of laughs which is exactly what you're going to get for your <laughs> play the play that goes wrong so uh, yeah. tell us a little bit about well, that well play. without any spoilers what what goes wrong well <laughs> basically just saying it, we i mean look the, the action sort of takes place on the opening night of of the the cornley polytechnic drama society's production of the murder at habersham manor uh, which is written by Susie H.K. Bridewell. Um, so, and it's present day that, that the play takes place. What we did, the first sort of week of rehearsal, we put the play that goes right on its feet. Oh, right. So, uh, as the murder mystery, as it, as it sits, we sort of, you know, blocked and directed and put that on its feet to then make it go wrong, if that makes sense. So, yes. we had to get the play that goes right down first before we then went and sort of mucked it up. Um, <laughs> So what you're really what you're really watching is you're watching a, a group of actors really trying to get to the end of the play and tell it as well as they possibly can. Yes. Um, there's no real sort of playing up for laughs or or you know sort of commenting on what's going on. We are fully legitimately in the play trying to get to the end. Okay. It just so happens that <laughs> so much around us goes wrong. Yes. Um, either because you know a bolt hasn't been tightened or the light fitting hasn't been put in properly or I mean you know at the end of the day we are we are sort of an amateur dramatic group so we may not have the budget that the big shows have you know yep. so we're a little bit low on resources so <laughs> things do go wrong and, and some of us are more experienced actors than others as yes. well uh, which will be very clear on the night when you come and see it um, <laughs> a hint as yeah, to which one you are well, my character is Robert, and Robert is a, is a real... He's the thespian of the group. Right. Um, and absolutely takes one-on-one -on -one classes during the week with, with anyone who's interested. <laughs> uh, he, he prides himself on his, um, on his sort of... You know, he's got these sort of rich and, Richard Burton tones. Right. Which he, he really goes for throughout the, throughout the show. And he takes himself quite seriously. And, and, of course, things that go wrong, he really has no time for. And he gets very exasperated and frustrated with the lesser experienced cast members around him and so um d did you actually cast people who you were like you know not yourself of course but did you cast anyone who's like a bad actor in particular that you were like <laughs> we're uh, gonna get some good comedy out of this person to, without uh, naming uh, look, names <laughs> look in actual fact in actual fact it's it, it's not easy having to i mean they're all great actors this is the thing Every, everyone here is, is a really very strong very strong actor. I was actually saying to someone the other day on, on stage during a rehearsal, I don't know how, post this show, how we're then going to fit back into the normality of, of doing other sort of bits and pieces because it is so, you know, we are so presentational out there. So, and, you know, in some instances, it is bad acting. You know, there's a lot of bad acting going on. But we are, but we don't, we're not sort of, you know, intentionally trying to be bad. We are, that's just all we know, being a, an amateur dramatic group. Yes. I mean, and some of us, you know, we sort of sat around the first week and exchanged stories about all those <laughs> coming up when you were younger and being part of, I mean, I, I for one, was very much part of amateur dramatic groups in Sydney. Yeah. And, I, you know, every single character in this, in this play I can identify with. 
Okay. I, I, know, I know these people. I know exactly who they are and how they work. Yeah. <laughs> so they're everywhere. They're in every amateur dramatic group. They're in every dramatic group. May, may, may I? I don't want to just limit the amateurs. Yeah. Um, they're in. They're in every 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 um, facet of uh, of the of the dramatic arts. But it's it is it is funny. I mean, if you like a good laugh, I yeah. think you'll you'll definitely you know come along for the ride. And also, I noticed which is good for us because we've got a few munchkins. Um, that it's you know from ages eight and up, it's recommended as well because sometimes it's hard to find something yeah. to your kids do as well. So. Uh, absolutely, absolutely, it's very family family orientated, and good. I think everyone will find it. You know, I mean, if you, as I said, if you're up for a laugh, yeah. just when you think just when you think nothing else can go wrong, something else goes wrong and tops. <laughs> Pops the moment before it, so yep. there is something something for it for everyone. Yeah, from ages eight to eighty, I say. So mm-hmm. everyone will get get a laugh out of it at some point. Well, great, and it's on obviously on the weekends every night as well. It's on every night. I believe it's on every uh, from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday night, and then we've got two on Saturday, two on Sunday. Wow. We open next Friday, the twenty fourth. We start previews on the twenty second, which is next Wednesday, uh-huh. uh, and then we're we're off for a four week season here at here in Melbourne. So. We're hoping that, uh, yeah. Well, Melbourne wanna... is the comedy, mm. you know, That's right. festival, yes. Mm. So I'm sure That's it'll right. do really well. It looks mm. really, really funny, and we're looking forward to going to see <laughs> but it. But it's good that you've got all the dates, because if you didn't know when it was on, then it would, then <laughs> yeah. it would really that, be going well, wrong. Well, <laughs> well that, that, that could be a problem. But as the poster at the front says, we open on the 22nd, hopefully, in brackets. Yeah. <laughs> yes, okay. um, yeah. So, you know, we're hoping that we, we make it by then. Well, I'm sure we will. We're, we're in good shape. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. Well, thanks for taking time out to uh, have that. a chat with us. Yeah. I'm sure Pleasure. there'll be lots of hilarious laughter in that. I, th- I thought this radio interview would be a disaster. I thought it would all go wrong. <laughs> yes. No, yeah. it's all, this, is about, this is about as right as it's going to go today. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, yeah. We'll go back to being wrong. wrong. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank Pleasure. you. Thanks, God. Bye.